Just wanted to offer my perspective on the parental Bill of Rights bill in New Hampshire right now. I think it's actually pretty simple. If you're a parent, you're the one who's actually responsible for your kids' health decisions and even for raising your kids, not the government itself. One of the most salient and simple parts of this to me is if a kid, especially at behest of teachers in their schools, is changing their gender identity or identifying differently, you as a parent at least have the right to know that. That's not that objectionable to me. And it's really disappointing when I see governors like Chris Sununu, Republican governors at that across this country, being anywhere between opposed to to notably silent about basic step forward that we can take in actually making sure that our kids are not the product of a broken public education system, really a broken primary education system, full stop in this country. I think that we're gonna need leaders with conviction, leaders with spine. I know it's a little bit inconvenient to certain f political elements of the political fringe, particularly on the left here, that you might not be popular if you actually take on some basic issues like parental consent and parental responsibility, parental rights. But I think that's what it's gonna be table stakes for anybody who actually wants to lead, let alone a state, lead this country. And it's also why I've been very clear that the president of the United States needs to do his part as well. As the next president, if I'm successfully elected, I've pledged to get rid of the Department of Education. The Federal Department of Education is actually where a lot of these cancers quietly begin. They use federal funding as a sort of handcuff, as a sort of cudgel to get local schools across the country, including in places like New Hampshire, to adopt these toxic woke ideologies. Now, I think that's one good reason to get the Federal Department of Education out of the business of education or out of the business of existence altogether. I've said I would shut it down. That's 80 plus billion dollars that flows through the Federal Department of Education that could be better used by municipalities and localities across this country. But in the meantime, this is still gonna be principally an issue that does need to be dealt with by the states. And if it's gonna be dealt with by the states, it needs to be hopefully states that are led by actual governors with a spine and with conviction that are able to provide a better path forward. And you know, if Chris Sununu isn't in favor of this for some reason, well, he might, ought to be transparent about why. I don't think staying silent about it and hoping this issue blows over is actually a viable strategy, either politically or more importantly, just as somebody who actually is asking people to allow them to be their leader. Well, a leader owes the people he leads transparency as well. So Governor Sununu, I hope you, you know, I hope you give people at least an answer for where you come down on this and give them an explanation for why you've been silent.